your days. I will fulfill. I will not allow anything to shorten your lifespan on the earth. I won't allow anything to take you out before your time. It is preservation through service that is our subject this evening. It's the month of February. It's our month of exceeding grace and glory through dedicated service. True dedicated kingdom service. And in this case, we shall be dealing extensively with the service of soul winning throughout the month of February. Give the Lord a big clap of hand here tonight. Today is two, 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 two. Second day of the second month of the 22nd year of the 21st century. Does that make sense to you? Two, two. So we are looking at preserv pres the pres preservation through service. Our objective is to understand the preservation power of kingdom service. Again, emphasis will be heavy on the service of souls. If there is any time to take preservation service serious, it is the time we are in. The time where, you know, there are, there, there are services where we deliberately don't take testimonies if we have like five, six, seven testimonies, I escape death, I escape kidnappers, I escape terrorists, I escape ritualists. There are times the pastor taking testimonies, the, the, three, the three remaining testimonies are that of escape. I say, we thank God for the testimonies. The one we have taken is enough. Do you know why? So that the fear does not, di does not disseminate everywhere. Oh, I was going on uh, Ogoni Road, kidnap, Okene Road, uh, uh, kidnappers, uh, uh, so and so road. Do you understand what I'm saying? If there is any time that is protecting your ears. Even though we thank God for the testimony. But how many of you would like to experience it so that you can be set free from it? Yes. It's not, it's not something you want to encounter. What the man just talked about now. It's not something you want to encounter. Tyre is already down. Terrorists, bandits, or whatever be their name. They are all the same thing. Already has his gun there with his stick. Is by the side of the door, trying to break the door. The glass, it, it, it will not break. Tire is already down. They are everywhere. And he heard a loud voice behind him, the voice of Jehovah. Move now. So we're in the month of divine direction where we are hearing the voice of God. And he engaged the gear. And moved for about 10 to 20 kilometers, he said, or so. With tire that is flat. From, from the midst of humans, demon human beings. But I prophesy to someone here, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. Because the, the rod of Jehovah shall comfort you. In the name of Jesus Christ, a thousand may fall by your side and ten thousand by your right, and it will never come near you. You believe that, shout the loudest amen. Shout the louder amen as you take your seat. Two things I will say very quickly and then I rush through this message. First, that kingdom service preserves life. And second, kingdom service prolongs life. A man's life, a woman's life, a person's life is preserved by kingdom service and that life can be prolonged by kingdom service. You shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless your bread and your water. And I will take away sickness, that is preservation, sickness from the middle of you. And there shall nothing cast their young 
miscarriage, nor be barren in the in thy land, and the number of your days I will fulfill. I won't allow any devil to shorten your days. And examples abound in scripture of people whose lives were preserved or prolonged by service. And in this case, even the service of souls. Number one example, Moses. Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 5 to verse 7. So Moses, the servant, the servant of the Lord, committed to kingdom service, died there in the land of Moab according to the word of the Lord. And he, was, and he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab over against Beth Pearl. But no man knoweth of his sepulchre unto this day. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim preservation. His natural force was not abated prolongation. Moses could have lived beyond 120 if God wanted. Because he did age did not catch him when he died. Old age did not affect him by the time he had died. He was dying. What normally happened to others had not happened to Moses. Why? Service. Moses was an evangelistic shepherd. In Exodus 32, 32, he pleaded with God, if you won't forgive these people, blot my name from your book. Send me to hell. That was how committed Moses was to the welfare of the people committed to the salvation of their souls. And listen to me. If anybody deserved to die before his time, it was Moses. Why do I say so? The burden of Israel is not a burden anybody could carry. Israel. The, now, can you imagine me, pastor? Who is not just the pastor of a congregation, but the pastor of three and a half million of the most rebellious people that ever existed. So rebellious that God said to, told Moses, give me a chance, let me clear them. You are not just pastoring them, but you are living with them. They will knock on your door in the night. Moses, come. You said God, God told you to bring us out of Egypt. Eh? Okay, solve this problem. Everything they had as a challenge was Moses' fault. It was Moses' fault. We remember the garlic. Who is celebrating garlic? What is the taste of garlic? Have you ever seen people who ate garlic and their mouth is on fire? When they are talking to you, you need to bend your head a bit. Because of garlic, your impact. Cucumber. Onion. Leek. Most of the things they were calling were tasteless. We remember it. And you have brought us in now. Solve our problem. If anybody could have died of hypertension before time, it was Moses. Apart from physical assault, how many times they carry stone to, 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 to stone him? They ganged up against him to waste him. God said, no. Your heart for me is too much for anybody to waste you. Before they kill you, I bury them. So he told Moses, give me a chance. Let the earth open. Let this one go to hell by direct entry. Data, Korah, and Abiram. This is laughing about direct entry. <laughs> let this one, let them not take jam. Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? Straight to hell. But despite everything this man passed through, because he was doggedly committed to God in service, he was not buryable before his time. So don't be afraid of the world we live in. Don't let it shake your heart. Anybody looking for you, if you are dedicated in serving God, is looking for death. Is looking for calamity. Is looking for disaster. That was Moses. He was not finishable. He was not wasteable. 
it was not destroyable before his time. I can tell you several examples today. What of Daniel? Among other things, Daniel's service of God was a prominent factor in his deliverance from death. So prominent that the king of Babylon recognized it. When they wanted to throw Daniel into the lion's den. Babylonian king in Daniel chapter 6 verse 16. When the man was helpless, he knew for jealousy made them to report Daniel. Then the king commanded and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God, even though they manipulated me to make this law against you, I'm so sorry. But let me assure you, the God you serve continually, he will deliver you. A stone was brought, laid upon the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet. And with the signet of his lord, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. No instrument or music were brought before him. His sleep went from him. First thing in the morning, the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste to the den of lions. When he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice, Oh, Daniel. And the king spake and said, Oh, Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Servant. Servant. The king could not miss that. Servant of the living God is thy God whom thou servest. The third time is mentioned in service continually. Able to deliver thee from the lions. Then said Daniel. Ah, there is a voice coming. Can anybody be cast into the lions then overnight? And still reply in the morning? Where is this reply coming from? Oh, king, live forever. My God, that you are talking about that I have sent this angel who shot the lion's mouth that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocence he was found in me and also before the O king, I have done no hurt. The king was exceeding glad for him and he commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no manner of hurt, no manner Nothing shall by any means, no manner of, not the scratch of a lion on his body was found upon him because he believed in his God. And the king commanded the, that they brought those men which had accused Daniel and they cast them into the den of lions. Them, their children, their wives. And the lions had mastery over them and break all their bones in pieces before they reached the bottom of the den. He tore them up from, from the sky. As they were coming, he pieces them before they landed. Lion was angry that food arrived and he couldn't eat. Food was with him overnight, he couldn't eat. And food left, he couldn't eat. Because they cast Daniel there, probably they didn't give him meat last night. He didn't have food to eat. Lion was hungry and they are now bringing plenty food. What a harvest. What a harvest. I think that is seed principle. Sacrifice the food you have and you get plenty food tomorrow. He pieces them from up. Tore them to pieces before they landed. What a God we serve. It pays to serve the Lord. It pays to serve the Lord. Where others are wasted, there shall, be, there shall be no scratch on your body. The Bible said no manner of hurt was found on Daniel. Where other lives and destinies are wasted, there can be no scratch upon your body. You believe that. Shout the loudest. Amen. Daniel's example. Moses' example. Then Malachi reported. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 17 and 18. He said they shall be mine. Saith the Lord of hosts. In that day when I make up my jewels. And I will spare them. As a man spared his son. Who served him. 
you serve me, I spare you. When others are being consumed and being devoured, I spare, I spare you. I spare you. Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. Between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. There is a difference between those who serve God and those who are not serving. And in the day we are in, that difference shall be made very clear. Somebody say a loud amen. That difference shall be made very clear. Between you and your unbeliever brothers and sisters from your family, the difference shall be made very clear. Between you and your unbeliever colleagues in the office, the difference shall be made very clear. Between you and your unbeliever neighbors in the place area where you live, the difference shall be made very clear. You believe it, say it louder. Amen. Say it louder. Amen. Fourth example was the 70 disciples. The 70 disciples. Luke chapter 10, verse 1. Jesus had sent them on assignment. He appointed other 70 also. Send them two and two before his face into every city and place, whither he himself will come. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray you therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Go your ways, behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Carry neither post nor script nor shoes and salute no man by the way go on evangelism now in verse 17 they returned and the 70 returned again with joy saying lord even the devils are subject unto us through thy name and he said unto them i beheld satan as lightning fall from heaven i saw him scatter from heaven with the speed of light behold i give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy all the power of the enemy all the power of the enemy serpent means death scorpions means pain and death also I give you power to tread on premature death. I give you power to tread on pain and death and hurt. And over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any mistake, any accident, any happenstance, any circumstance, any devil instance hurt you. Nothing shall miss road to hurt you. Nothing is permitted to mistakenly hurt you. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Why? Because you are serving me. You are a master over what masters others. This is enough to make you walk with your shoulders raised and chest out and to let the devil know you are not an edible material. You are not a wasteable material. You are not a destroyable material. Somebody say a loud amen. amen. It's the story of the 70s who went on evangelism. And number five is Paul the apostle. Paul the apostle. You know the story. Paul the apostle was the man who said in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and in verse 16, he said, for though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yeah. Woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. He was destined for a gospel expedition. Acts chapter 27. And the sheep had scattered in pieces in verse 22. Even though he was bound going to Rome. And now I exhort you Paul speaking. Be of good cheer. For there shall be no loss. Somebody said there shall be no loss. There shall be no loss of any man's life. Among you. But of the sheep. For there stood by me this night. I like this place. The angel of God. Whose I am. And whom I serve. What is important is not who you are, but who owns you. The angel of God, whose I am. Not just who you are, but whom you are. Or whose you are. And then whom I serve. He's not talking to those who serve themselves. 
whom I serve, that angel stood last night, saying, fear not, Paul. You must be brought before Caesar because Caesar must hear gospel. And see, remember Paul in the book of Romans giving salutations. Caesar's household saluted you. He had planted a church in the house of Caesar. It's like planting a church in the house of Hitler. He was headed for that assignment. And he said, thou must be brought before Caesar. Beyond that, God has given you all them that sail with you. They are your converts. And because God will use you to die, to die, we are forces. Be of good cheer. I may not believe anything, but I believe God. <laughs> For I believe God. How many of you believe God here? I, I, may not, I may doubt myself, but I believe God. I may doubt the government, but I believe God. I may doubt anything, but I believe God. I believe God. Place it back. I believe God. That it shall be. It shall be. Even as it was told to me. Somebody say a loud amen. amen. You are destined for assignment for God. You are headed for kingdom assignment. You are committed to the service of souls. You are sold out to God. No storm of life. No wind of life. No witch on it. No killer on it. It's permitted. License authorized, powerful, wicked, or demonic enough to take you out before your time. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say louder amen. amen. If the devil was powerful enough, people like us won't be on earth at all by now. Papu here, they won't be there. Why? Here you are confronting head on witches and wizards. Occultic powers. Head on. Ritualist altars. Head on. Bond woman altars. Head on. Head on. Demons of your village are, are afraid. Say this boy is spoiling business for us. Nobody from this area is permitted to amount to anything in the gospel. Because that was our covenant with ancient fathers and altars. Messed up and mesmerize every devil, and they are helpless. We win in their dresses. We win. You know, we pull. <laughs> we pull. <win. laughs> Why are you, what have you done against the devil that you are afraid he will kill you before time? Why is Papa, Bishop Yedeko still alive? Pastor Adebo is still alive. Who have been smashing the devil's head for over 50 years? And the devil is helplessly watching. I prophesy to you today, you shall fulfill your days. You shall fulfill your destiny. You shall fulfill your life assignment. In the name of Jesus. Let me quickly begin to round off by finding out how does kingdom service, how does service preserve? My great emphasis tonight is the service of souls. The servant to return from evangelism. Paul was going on evangelism. Moses was an evangelistic pastor. Daniel was used to shape Babylon for, the, for God. How does service preserve? Number one, by the ministry of the angels of God. When you are a committed servant of God, committed to the service of souls especially, you attract the ministry of angels. It's like the government of nations. 
allocate security to their principal officers. That was what saved Daniel. My God sent his angel. Daniel 6, 20. My God sent his angel. I am serving him and he sent his angel. Twenty-two, My God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouth. That was Paul's testimony where we read. Acts chapter 27 verse 22 to 24. The angel of God. The God whose I am and whom I serve stood by me last night. I announced by the prophetic and apostolic mantle of God on my life and upon this commission, the ministry of angels shall become very heavy around your life. Preservation angels, deliverance angels, angels that shall prolong life, protect life, preserve life. I prophesy the ministry of angels. Receive it in the name of Jesus. By the ministry of angels. Take your seat. Number two. By the action of the Almighty. That is himself. 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 Exodus chapter 23. I want to show you something. Verse 22. To 1. 20. He said, Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way. Preservation. That is part of angelic, the angel's ministry. To keep you in the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared for you. The angel is to keep you, may God, security. Keep you in the way. Now let's go. Beware of him. And obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions. For my name is in him. I am more <laughs> lenient than him. All right, go on ahead. But if, if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary unto your adversaries. For my angel, now verse 23, shall go before you and bring you into the Unto the Amorites, he will just ensure that you reach where I want you to reach. And the Hittites, and the Perizzites, and the Canaanites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. He will keep you going, and then I will step in to cut them off. Thou shalt not bow to their gods, nor serve them, nor do after their works, but thou shalt utterly overthrow them, and quite break down their images. That verse three, and ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I, so there are, he's talking of two people now. He and I. You shall serve the Lord your God and I will commission that angel to multiply your bread and your water. Then I will be responsible to take away sickness from the midst of you. There shall nothing cast their young nor be barren in the land. The number of your days, me personally, not the angel now, I will multiply it. I will cause it to be fulfilled. That is by the direct action of the Almighty with you. You are serving him and he's saying you are too precious for me to leave for anybody to waste. You are serving me and I will preserve your life. Somebody here, you are about to see God at work like never before in the preservation of your life. Can I hear you louder? Amen. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 17 and 18 where we read, where he said, They shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. In that day, when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spare it, his own son that serveth him. I will spare them. I will spare them. So God himself steps down into your case to spare you from premature death. The way others died in your family, you cannot die like that. The way others are wasted around you, you cannot be wasted like that. You shall fulfill your days 
If you are saying amen, shout the loudest. Amen. Take your seat, number three. By the power of the blessing. By the power of the blessing. How does service preserve? By the power of the blessing. What is the equation? Service releases the blessing. And the blessing attracts, the blessing guarantees preservation. You shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless. When you serve God well, you can't escape the blessing. I have not escaped the blessing. My lineage forever, if Jesus starts, won't escape the blessing. For as long as they follow the ways of their father. Service releases the blessing. And then the blessing brings you preservation. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 8. He said, Thus said the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and somebody said, destroy it not. Why? For a blessing is in it. Hey! La, ya, 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 ya. Even if the angel was not working, even if God in, in heaven was not yet working, and I carry the blessing, and I move by the blessing, as I move and a devil was trying to temper with me, a voice would say, hey, destroy him not for a blessing. Look at your neighbor, say, waiting the work for me. Plenty pass. Waiting the work against me. Did I succeed in that pigeon? Say to someone, say, the thing where they work for me. They're plenty where, where. Say, now, then plenty pass. That is, if God was not directly working for me now, angel was not working now, I am serving the Lord. Because I serve, I am blessed. And because I am blessed, there is this standing commandment. There is a perpetual injunction. Any lawyer nearby here? There is a perpetual injunction from the, from the, from the, from the, from this, the, 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 the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court General, the, the High Court Judge of the Universe saying, touch him not for a blessing is in him. The devil can hate me, but he can't hurt me. He is permitted to hate, but he's never licensed to hurt. The witches and the wizards, they have the choice to hate, but no right to hurt. Destroy him not, for a blessing is in him. Hey, 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 Somebody scream three times, hey, hey, hey. I carry blessing for her, though. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? Oh yes, it's there. Destroy not for a blessing. You went into the thick of your village. A lady testified in a choir bomb crusade this, I mean, um, outreach this morning. The brother went to their village in a, one of the villages in a choir bomb state. And you know how a choir bomb state is? Very, very powerful. Uh, that is with all due respect. There are powerful people there. With all due respect. Hardly will you find a family where you won't find one person who is a planting from the other side. Hardly, hardly. Whether it's the Teokun or you must find somebody. You see, the brother went to the village and was brutally attacked. Almost to the point of death. 
And then she was about to travel to the village and was contemplating, what do I do? And then while we are in that service this morning, she received an encounter, saw me, and I said, you want to go to the village? Go to the village. Anybody who dare you is ready to be buried. <laughs> he said, she was not sure of going to the village because she wanted to go and rescue the brother. Probably pray for him and bring him out of there. And she wasn't sure. And here, yeah, while we're in this early morning meeting, I said, Papa, she's in the choir there. I said, you are planning to go to the village? Go to the village. Anybody who dares you shall be laid to rest. That decree is for you right now. Every devil who dares you in this season shall be laid to rest. Every devil who dares you shall be laid to rest. They shall be laid to rest. Somebody shout power. I like this kind of prophetic covering. That is village people, I am coming. If you hear such a message, is there anything you will fear? You will write to all of them. Say, I'm arriving by 9 a.m. I want us to meet at the motor park. If I shake hands with you and you don't die, I am not of God. <laughs> hey! Hey! Somebody shout power! Give the Lord the praise and take your seat. One day I was preaching very brutally many years ago in the real world. If you are a witch, get set, your death has arrived. One lady stood up in the crowd. He said, please, I want to go. He said, what's this? I want to go, please. I want to, please, I want to go. <laughs> I said, what happened? Does she have a testimony? He said, no. What's the problem? He said, she wants to leave. The said, okay. Do you know who she is? Let her leave. So that person not die for here. <laughs> Only her knows what she saw. She was crying. Please, I want to go. I want to go. What is the challenge? No, no, no. Please, I want to go. Hallelujah. How does service preserve number four? By the power of the anointing. Whenever you serve the Lord, you are qualified for the oil. In the book of Psalm 89 and in verse 20, he said, I have found David whose qualification is that he is my servant. Since he is my servant, with my holy oil, I have anointed him. And what is the outcome? By this anointing, because he is serving me, my hand shall be established through him. My arm shall also strengthen him. He cannot be weak. Furthermore, by this anointing that came on him because of service, the enemy shall not exact upon him. He owes the devil nothing. The enemy cannot demand taxation from him. Nor the son of wickedness afflict him. I will beat down his enemies before his face and plague them. If I carry oil and you hit me, well, I, do. I carry oil, you hit me. Even if you are my brother, the same mother and father, my sister, you hit me and I have oil. God will know. If you doubt, ask Miriam, the sister of Moses, who raised Moses up. She said, yeah, 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 yeah. She became a leper on the spot. Moses said, God, I beg. God said, I, I can't hear, I beg. If her earthly father spat on her face, will she not be ashamed seven days? Banish her from the camp for seven days. For a start, before I know what to say. 
That is, I just spit on in her face, and it became leprosy. <laughs> if I had if I had spit, spat on her, would she would she be hanging around? I just spat on her. That is what transformed into leprosy. Hide her for seven days before she dies. I will plague them that hate him. Be careful, be careful. I was saying on the fact that you and somebody are in the same church must not, does not mean you should look for their trouble. Because if God will not spare me, Moses' blood relation, he won't spare Korah, Data, and Abiram. The Bible said they were principal men in the assembly. They were head of session. They were head of department. They were leader, head, head elder, head deacon. They were topmost people. God said, clear chance, let me swallow them up at once. Somebody say loud, amen. amen. That is what service will attract for you. And by the time service brings the oil, the oil ensures, I like that statement, the enemy shall not exact upon, no devil can make a demand on him. The son of wickedness can't afflict him. He said, he suffered no man to do them wrong. He rebuked kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. The oil brings the anointing. And the anointing makes you untouchable. Personally, I don't know how many people have died because of us. When we reach heaven, we will know. I have some idea. That's the ones that God allowed me to know. There are those who died in the planning stage. There are those who took off from their body as witches lying on the bed. Flying to come and attack and then they reported straight in hell. They didn't return back to their body. I mean madness, that one is like water. Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? He suffered no man to do them wrong. He rebuked kings for their sake saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. I prophesy to somebody here seated. Your life, your destiny, you are now untouchable, unharmable. Shout the loudest amen. Are you getting something here tonight? That is, even if the angel was not at work, even if God said, I'm, I'm, let me watch them, even if the blessing wasn't there, the fact that you are serving brought the oil, the oil made you a mobile transformer. A mobile transformer. You carry an electricity, a current that can electrocute the devil. Anybody who wants to be electrified can be electrified. But those who handle you wrongly, they are electrocuted. No, it's the same electricity that electrifies, that electrocutes. You, you obey the laws of electricity, you see electrification. You disobey its laws, you see electrocution. Counter. <laughs> it just the current just passes through your body and then begin to the heart and then pass through the heart in the opposite direction. The heart is beating this way, the current is moving that way. God. Somebody say aloud, amen. amen. Lift your eyes and say, Father, I am ready to live for you. I am ready to serve you. Thank you, Master, in the name of Jesus. Finally, by the ministry of the angels, we are preserved. By the action of the Almighty, we are preserved. By the power of the blessing, we are preserved. By the power of the anointing, we can experience preservation. And number five, by the delegated authority of the Master. This is separate from anything I've said. The delegated authority of the Master. There is an authority delegation that happens when we follow the great commission by the delegated authority of the master. That was what we saw in Luke chapter 10, verse 17, all the way to verse 19, where he said, and the servant returned with joy. Now verse 19, you can move there now, where he said, and, and behold, I delegate to you power. This is the Hebrew word exousia, as different from Dunamis, 
in Acts chapter 1 verse 8. This dynamis is inherent power. Exusia is delegated power. I delegate, I give you the right to act on my behalf. We have both. Delegated, I delegate to you my authority. I clothe you with myself. So go and tread on serpents and scorpions and over every power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. When you fight a man that has muzzle, you are fighting inherent power. When you fight a soldier with a gun, you are fighting delegated power. He's not acting in his own capacity. He has the nation and the state at his back. And you, 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 you misbehave too much, you condemn one leg first. <laughs> because you know, nobody knows whether you are an armed robber. You are a criminal until proven otherwise. Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? Very, very, very important. So, that delegated authority is available. Provided you are on assignment for the master. Provided you are especially the assignment of soul winning. And by these five combinations. You are. You are. You are highly, highly toxic and lethal. To every gang up of hell. Just, 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 just. You are danger in motion. Mobile danger. There's one song they used to sing in, those, in the 70s. Danger day. Danger day. Anybody know that song? <laughs> so I think there's some uh, people, I don't know where they got their inspiration from. Danger day. Danger day. Then they fold it up. Fire will burn you. Fire will. <laughs> Anybody know that song? <laughs> old time. Oh, yes. O o only the old people will know. Yeah. Only the ancient people. Anybody 50 and above and 60 and more. <laughs> All the children that are 30 will never know. Children that are 30. Danger day, he too. Danger day, danger day, danger day. Fire will burn you. Fire. And I think it is said. <laughs> I'm sure so one of them was inspired by the devil or something. And I was thinking about hell or something. And but people are dancing to it. Fire will burn you. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are danger in motion. And if they come, fire will burn them. Fire will burn them. Somebody shout hallelujah. Lift up your right hand now in the name that is above every name. Jesus Christ, the resurrected Lord. I decree today your preservation is confirmed. Your, by every means. Let me caution you. Please take your seat and I say round up in conclusion. One, don't waste your life. Serving yourself or serving the earth or serving money. Don't waste your time serving self. A life lived for self is a life lived at a loss. Lived for loss. Don't waste your life. There are so many people the whole of last day, they cannot point to one soul that was led to God. Nobody was impacted for her heaven. It's all about the pursuit of money, pursuit of this, and don't waste your life. Don't waste your life. Don't endanger your life. Don't risk your life. Don't. Second, kingdom service does not only guarantee the interest and welfare of the kingdom, it serves the welfare and the interest 
of the one who serves. Kingdom service does not just guarantee the interest or welfare of the kingdom. Some say, oh, I'm just doing things so that the house of God can be full or so that no, everybody can say that I, I'm also working for God. No, no. It guarantees the interest and the welfare of the one who serves. I have not done God's favor by stepping out of full-time medical practice at the, at the time I, I stepped into ministry. I haven't done God any favor. God, it is God who has done me favor. Maybe I would have died since. Because I knew how death confronted me as a child. Febrile convulsions and things like that. It doesn't just serve the welfare of the kingdom. It serves the welfare and the interest of the one who serves. That is, you are saving your head by serving the Lord. Did you hear what I just said? You are saving your head by serving the Lord. You are saving your head by serving the Lord. You are saving your head by serving the Lord. You have done yourself a favor by serving the Lord. Finally, kingdom service is a covenant platform whose dividends include divine health, divine preservation, and the fulfillment of days. Again, kingdom service is a covenant platform whose dividends includes divine health, divine preservation, the fulfillment of days. We read that already. In Exodus 23, 25 to 26. Divine health. Divine preservation. The fulfillment of this. Among other things, there is, you can see there is provision there. But that's not our focus tonight. That is, when you play your part, allow God to supply you health. To supply you preservation. To supply you strength. This is the first fourth service I am involved in today. Number one, Ellie, will I seek you? That one was very brief. Number two, moment of encounter with our church in New York this morning. Ibom Hall was filled to capacity overflow. People sat outside this morning. Number three, I came in here with our staff meeting with all our staff national or global. We're having the staff meeting here, the pastors here, and then connected everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. They were connected, receiving the same instruction. Very heavy instruction. Someone said, I should please preach this thing to the whole of the church workforce, and I may do that. This intense. One other person said, please let it be turned into a, at least a pamphlet for people to read. This morning, this is my fourth service today. And the journey continues. Yesterday, early will I seek you, healing and deliverance service, then an evening service, the same acquired. I, I am stronger than those who are doing nothing. Am I communicating? So many people who are just tired of tiredness. Holding waist at, an, at 35. That will never be your portion. The other day, my wife said, why did you sleep by 4 a.m.? And service is 7 a.m. Saturday to, to Sunday night. Um, and Sunday morning. I said, I sleep couldn't come. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you come and preach, and the journey continues. Somebody once asked me, do you sleep? Very well. The difference is if I sleep for one hour, it can be equal to somebody's three hours of sleep. Because the sleep of a laboring man is sweet. 
When you labor for God and labor for his kingdom, he enhances your sleep. It, the refreshing that somebody needs to log on World Wide Web, don't sleep, don't come. Eight hours. You know, it's, a, it's internet, World Wide Web, www sleep, dot sleep, don't come. <laughs> for, for eight hours, your own, you did a few hours, and all the refreshing just arrives. And then you can run like. A magnetodynamic machine. Self-propelling. I see strength coming for somebody. Yeah. You, we, are, we are still in, but the, the, the year hasn't gone far. One of the things you will make your mind for this year is that I must be caught in kingdom service. Especially the service of souls. And see what God will do with your life. Stand on your feet in a shout of praise. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Many of us were working for God before, but you never knew the benefit. You are knowing now. Many of us, you were expecting other benefits. Oh, I'm, I'm looking for money, husband, this and that. But this is a major one that you, you forgot about. I want you to make up your mind this year. I won't just let this year pass and I'm chasing my own effort. I want to chase God. Chase God. Young man, hit the road. If the devil says he can't give you a job, let heaven give you a job. Job of soul winning. Hit the road. Track distribution. By the time you weary the devil, he will be the one who will find you a job. Devil himself will find you a job. See, this boy is disturbing me too much. He has removed all the prostitutes from the street. Remove all the drunkards. Let me give him a job so that he can let us rest. Stand up on your feet. The devil himself will find you work. You think if I need work now, the devil won't give me. He said, they will pay you one million naira if you work for 23 hours. That is it. He doesn't want to give me any time to do any other thing. Even one billion dollars. He said, what it? Can't worry. I mean, I, I, that I'm saying if I need a work now, the devil will find it. He will find me work. To take me away from all the blala he's receiving. <laughs> one woman, one lady said, one lady said that testified in early will I seek you. Is it that the devil said I, sh I should give him rest or something? In the morning. Yeah. Yes, that testified in early will I seek you. And, I, uh, 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 and then I carried the cane. I said, take, that is rest. Anybody remember that they said, Blala Ruhi, take, you want to rest? Rest, rest. It was a spirit husband tormenting a guy, a woman. That was her deliverance. Am I communicating? Those group of devils who say, the, the man need work, Abba. Let's, we'll give him 100 jobs. 20 in America. 15, let him even move from Nigeria. We'll, we'll find him residency permit on the spot. Anyone he wants, let him just leave us alone. Hallelujah. God will say to you, amen. that amen has more potential. Amen. All right, lift up your hands and your voice. I can see the brethren everywhere around the world. Can you show, show all of us together, together? Lift your hands and let's appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords for this moment, this moment, this moment. Speak to God right now. Thank him for his word to you. Thank him for his word to you. Thank him for his word to you. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. Father, we give you the adoration. Father, we give you the worship. Blessed be your name. Honor to your name. Adoration to your name. Worship to your name. Lift your hands. Lift your voice. Everywhere we are receiving the seal of divine preservation. The seal of divine preservation. Lift your hands, lift your voice. Honor him, adore him. Worship him, glorify him. 
El Shaddai Elion, the God who was, the God who is, the God who is to come. Worship him, honor him, adore him. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Mekadesh. Thank you, Rofika. Thank you, Karen Yesha. We worship you. We honor you. In Jesus' precious name. Lift up your hands and say, Father, I receive the grace to work for you. In 2022, I received the passion and the zeal to go for souls. In 2022, in the name of Jesus, help me, Lord, not to waste my life, not to live for myself. Help me, Lord, to live for you, to do your will, to do your bidding. Help me, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to serve you from the depth of my heart with the whole of my life. I receive that grace now. Open your mouth and speak to God. In Jesus' name. I need something on the microphone for two minutes. Lift your hands and say again after me and say, Father, say it louder. Say, Father, Father I come before you, come before you. Today, today. I make demand, I make demand. On, your on your preservation power, power. By, the by the ministry of the angels, of the angels. By, the by the action of the Almighty, of the Almighty. By, the by the power of the blessing, of the blessing. by the power, by the power of, the of the anointing. By the delegated authority of the master, I receive the seal of preservation of my life today in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and speak to God. Open your mouth. So shall it be. He said we overcame the devil, the terrorists, the kidnappers, the ritual killers, witches and wizards by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. Tonight, the blood of the lamb is going to place a covenant deposit in your body. It's a deposit in your system. It's like carrying an anti-ballistic missile, a detonator inside you. Whatever the devil orchestrated against you or around you, inconsequential. Say, Father, Father by, the power by the power of the blood, of the blood. I receive I preservation, preservation. Tonight, tonight in the name of Jesus. Name Open your mouth and pray. Thank <laughs> you. 
He suffered no man to do them wrong. He rebuked him for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed. What is coming upon you tonight makes you not just untouchable. Anybody who plants your heart. Now, we're, we're, we are moving into a dangerous dimension now. Not just that you escaped. For daring you, they have laid to rest. For daring thinking against you, against me, against us. For planning, for thinking, for calculating. Their destruction is immediately released. He said by the anointing, I will plague them that hate you. I will plague them. I will lay them to rest. Say, Father, Father by the anointing, by the anointing coming, upon coming upon my life today, my life. this preservation, preservation anointing, anointing, I demand, I demand immediate judgment immediate. on every agent on every of the agent. devil who plans all devices, my heart, my family's heart, the heart of the church, the heart of dynamis, the heart of the pastorate, and the leadership, everyone, the Everyone designing, devising our heart, receive immediate judgment by the anointing. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name lift up your hands everyone in need of surrender you can only serve if you are saved the service of the sinner is an abomination the Bible says the sacrifices of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. You sacrifice your time, your money, your resources, and you are wicked. And you, you are living in an iniquitous life. It's a waste. So, I'd like you to step forward here. You, you, you have to be saved to serve. And you have to serve to be preserved. You are saved, you serve. You, are, you serve, you are preserved. So, if you are in here, and you're saying, Pastor, I don't want to take chances. I want my sins forgiven. I want Jesus in my life. Quickly pick your Bibles and your bags. Rush forward quickly. While you are, they are doing that, communion servants will also take their position. And let's take that quickly. <laughs> 